From left side, right side games, I'm Artie Q. Pebbleton. This is Chalking Points. This week I'd like to examine an idiom that comes from Greek mythology. To open Pandora's box. This expression means to do something innocuous that has terrible and wide-ranging consequences. In order to get to Pandora, we're going to have to start with the poet Hesiod, or Hesiodos. He was a fellow who lived about 2,700 years ago, and he collected all the religious mythology he knew into two major poems, Theogony, the birth of the gods, and Works and Days. Now, according to later poets and authors like Aesop and Sappho, Prometheus the Titan shaped humankind out of clay, and Athena, the goddess of wisdom and strategy, breathed life into them. But Prometheus saw his creation shivering in the cold and felt bad for them. So he nipped on over to Mount Olympus, home of the gods, and stole a single ember, giving fire to man, allowing him to survive in the cold. Zeus, father of the gods, was not happy with this and decided to punish Prometheus' creation by giving them something horrible, but something that they thought they wanted. Something- Women, I'm talking about women. I think I neglected to mention that Hesiod was a misogynist. Here's a modern translation of Hesiod by Catherine Schlegel and Henry Weinfield, published by the University of Michigan in 2006. <clears throat> then the cloud gatherer in rage addressed the titan thus, Your schemes surpass all other schemes, son of Iapetus. Now you rejoice at having stolen fire outwitting me, much misery both for yourself, yourself, and man to be. To them in recompense for fire I shall bequeath a woe, which they will cherish in their hearts, although it lays them low. So spoke the father of gods and men, and laughed aloud, then bade Hephaestus, the famed artisan, at once to mix and knead water and earth, and put in strength and speech distinctly human, make it an aspect like a deathless goddess, but a woman. This woman was called Pandora, or All Gifted, because each god and goddess gave her a different trait. Hephaestus gave her a pleasing form, Athena gave her the skill of her hands, Aphrodite gave her grace and longing, and Hermes gave her a deceitful character and the ability to lie. I do not think Hesiod was a happy gentleman. And thus was she given as a gift to mortal men, along with jewelry, finery, and a jar. A jar which, wait, a jar? I thought Pandora had a box? Uh, well, okay, here's the thing. In the original Greek, the word is pithos, which is a great big jar, but a 16th century translation into Latin by the Dutch Renaissance theologian Erasmus of Rotterdam accidentally read pithos as pixis, which is a cylindrical box with a lid. That's why we call it a box. It's that guy's fault. Nice work, Erasmus. Good job inventing humanism or whatever. Anyway, Pandora is presented to mankind, and shortly after introducing herself, she opens the jar because of her gods-given curiosity, and out of it comes every evil to befall mankind. Disease, warfare, trauma, fear, pain, but remaining at the bottom of the jar was hope. That's where Pandora's box comes from, is the idea of opening a lid, expecting a gift, and seeing all the evils of the world pour out. But questions remain. What does it mean that hope remains in the jar? Does that mean that we hold on to hope to fight evil? Did a god slip hope in on the sly out of pity for the terrible lot of man? Or does it mean that hope, by the sheer fact of its inclusion in the box with the other evils of man, is itself an evil? These are arguments that people have been having for 2,700 years and they're not gonna be settled today. That said, leave your notions in the comments and we'll duke it out respectfully. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about mythology and the way it's shaped our language and language culture, head on over to lsrsgames.com and check out Hit or Myth. It's a game all about mythology and culture, and if you like these videos, you'll like the game. Thanks for watching, and until next time, laugh, learn, light up your language. I'm Artie Q. Pebbleton, and I'll see you around. Click here to see a video of Procol Harum, the British prog rock band from the 70s, performing Pandora's Box from 1975, their very last single. Cheers, see you around.